flying back to Edmonton, then flying back to L.A., but it was Luke Robitaille who brought them back to earth as the Kings took game one, 4-3 in OT last night. And we'll see the highlights. The Kings open up the scoring in the first period. As you'll see, Steve Casper slipped the puck through Steve Smith and then put it behind Bill Ranford who got the start last night, surprising some people. The Oilers had a great chance to tie it up when Larry Robinson nailed Martin Gillina in the mouth with a stick. Robinson was tossed out. The Oilers couldn't score on a five-minute power play. Robinson a little upset with the ejector. And the Kings would go up 2-zip as Thomas Sandstrom puts the move on Jeff Bukaboom for the goal. The Twin Towers looking like the Faulty Towers this night. But before the second period ends, the Kings cop out the puck in their own end. Jelena wires a shot by Kelly Rudy. And it's 2-1 after 20 minutes of play. And Mark Messier made a 2-2 early in the third. And then Peter Klima gave the Oilers a 3-2 lead, showing more moves in Atlas Van Line. Spectacular goal, play of the week material. And now we move on. Time running out in the third period. The Kings pressuring, and it pays off. Luke Robitaille with a tip in, forcing overtime. And it was cool hand Luke who supplied the heroics in overtime. It's a, I mean, it's a big game for us to win. I mean, last year we won, we lost four in a row, and they came out of the seventh game and. It seemed like they won a high, so we knew tonight winning the game was a big one for us. It's not this series, but, uh, you know, to get 1-0 one, one ahead of them is certainly uh, good for us. And going to overtime, it's uh, just a, it's a battle of breaks, and uh, they got the break tonight. But, uh, you know, we, we realized we've got to win one game in this building, and it, it would have been nice to win it tonight. And game 